relax you, to allow you to let go of tension, to allow you to release something, to allow you to go further into something, mm -hmm. to enable you to feel, to give you the space to observe. And breath is just one of those things that is unbelievable. It links your sort of mind and your body together. Mm -hmm. And what I'm hoping to do today is that we'll just go through a practice and maybe we just do a few things together and then we just perhaps talk about some ideas about breath and maybe do a few more things. So almost like a mini sort of almost mini workshop. Um, it's funny as well, because when you start to focus on things like breath now, because when I practice every day in the morning, you then throughout the day are so much more conscious of your breath and you know that when you're running around or you're stressed and it helps yeah. you to focus on that thing. And by taking literally one deep breath or being able to focus on that moment, helps you to change so much which you thought wasn't in your power to change giving the power back to yourself it's it's key yeah. should we start um with just a little bit of breathing are you okay with yeah that? of course yeah okay so oh, i'm gonna you're gonna jump back there I'm going, to, I'm going to stick you down here and I'm going to shut you back has, here. If anyone ever has any problems with their spine, because again, it's so much about back and spine, yeah. it really helps with the spinal body, but yeah, to get a little yeah. pillow and sit down your bum, you taught me that, Colin. <laughs> cool. Um, so we're going to split breathing into three areas, so three parts of the body um, to work with, but the, the emphasis will be on exhale, so if that's okay with you. So what I'd like you to do is, is just start to place your hands just on your, on your lower abdomen. So you've come to done this do this before so and just come to close your eyes for a moment and I just want you to feel the natural process of your breath in and also the natural process of your breath out so what's happening as you breathe in and also what's happening as you breathe out So when I breathe in, especially focusing on your breath, to breathe in through the chest first and then into your stomach, because I always shallow breathe, or I used to a lot more, mm. but we should just be breathing into your chest and not into your stomach at all. And once you're able to connect those breaths, you can just feel the tension going down your spine, down your shoulders, right. being able to slow that down. It just helps you connect with your whole body. So there's a feeling as you're breathing in. If you're breathing in, place one hand just on your chest and keep the other on your abdomen. And as you, as you breathe in, you're, you're feeling that your, your chest expands. And so as the chest and the ribs are sort of expanding outwards and the abdomen just relaxes a touch and it almost you can feel that the whole body's involved in, in the way that you breathe in. Well, especially, and I did this last night and I do this every night before I go to sleep. You know, turn everything off, no screens, nothing. Mm. And just lie in bed and focus on, you know, your heart rate, but also on your breathing. Because you don't mm. realise when you're sitting there thinking that you're breathing so fast. And being able to slow that down literally helps you to fall asleep so quickly. Mm. And I think everyone at the moment, oh, people always talk about sleeping and having problems sleeping. It's, it's mm. so much more simple than we make it out to be, being able to do that one thing. So you're completely right. So the... The way that you can work with your breath is having this consistency of breath in and consistency of breath out. Just getting the consistency as you're breathing in, just slowly in consistency, breathing in, consistent at the beginning, middle and end of breath in, and consistent at the beginning, middle and end of breath out. It starts to sort of create a new pattern. And also, like you say, influences your nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system as well which is just so smart and even in the beginning because i always get a bit nervous when i'm doing or you know go, like going live or like excited or so excited yeah. about like introducing the collection and already i feel mm. so much more calm so mm. much more in my body i can feel my whole body it's such a difference mm. so here what i'd like you to do is just take four breaths only four breaths but I, what i'd like you to do is focus just on keeping a consistency of breath in through your nose expanding the chest ribs and abdomen as you breathe in and on the exhalation abdomen ribs and chest so taking the air up and out through your body so you're connecting the top of the body with the bottom of the body and you're feeling what's happening within your spine as you breathe in and as you breathe out 
I could already feel it, like little clicking going on, even in the back of my neck, like it's aligning mm. almost. Mm. So you find there's an effect on your mind and there's also an effect on your body. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to add some movement into this. So just bring your arms down by your sides and as you breathe in, just allow your arms to move upwards on your breath in. And then as you breathe out, just bring your arms back down again. Now here's a crucial thing. You start to use the movement to develop your breathing. So as you breathe in, use the movement to develop your breath rather than actually the other way around where the, the movement goes with the breath. So almost that your movement is there to get the development of your breathing. That's it. And then just repeat once more. So you're keeping the consistency of your breath and just add a very small pause at the end of your breath in. Consistency of your breath and a very small pause at the end of your breath out. Just one small please. How did that feel? It really helped me connect with my body. I could mm. start to feel where I was holding tension. The expanding and contraction made me feel the tension, but also know where to kind of work on, you know, cause I worked out of it yesterday. I can then feel the kind of tension in my arms, but also being mm. able to relax it and really focus on how much the expansion and contraction of your body, how much, in, in the exhale and contracting how much then you can release your shoulders, your neck, your spine, elongates. And as you said before, the connection between the bottom and the top of your body, it really, it just helps you relax so much. The other thing about breathing in this way is that it will protect you. It means that you won't hurt your body if you can breathe. Right. Because it, it's almost educating you as you're coming to move about what's going on within your body. So it's you can't hurt up too yourself. Far. Protection, yeah. yeah. Totally, so important. Yeah, exactly. So what I'd like to do now is just add um, just a, a very small movement to the side. So here you can, again, use your, use your breathing in a very different way. So as you breathe in, just taking your arm out to the side, you can mirror me if you want. So you can go the same direction as me or you can go opposite. It just doesn't matter because we're always on the other side. So keep the underlying shoulder, this shoulder soft. So that, that shoulder there, just that's it, keep it soft. Yes, because I always do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <So> like, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, anyway, I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah. Relax the center of your chest. So relax shoulder, lift center of chest, arm up into the air. Just close your eyes for a moment and just take a couple of breaths here. Okay, so just a couple of breaths in this position. But what I want you to do is you, you are taking the body into a shape. Now you're taking the body into a shape and it's, it's an asymmetrical shape. So you're taking the body to one side and you're able to add breathing into this. So it gives you the capacity to observe, to feel what's happening within your body, but also to change your body by using your breathing. And then when you're ready, just bringing the arm back and down, please. Just as you exhale, just as you breathe out, bring the arm down. And I know these are very simple movements, but they become the foundation for every single movement you come to do. So it's applied, yeah. not just for this in this way, but every single thing. So the more complex the movements, the more the breathing is the priority. Totally. So to be able to fine. focus too, it's right. Because even because I have a problem, you know, sometimes focusing. The world is so fast, and mm. even how you, especially when you're having a conversation, to listen. 
to listen to others, to listen to yourself and also the environment around you. It just helps your senses almost be more kind of switched on. It's really brilliant. Well, you, you're right. It gives you the capacity, it trains you to focus. You're completely right. And also, even even you told me to release this shoulder, and I'm still doing this with that one. It just it's it very interesting. Isn't realize it? you have all the ways to focus on yourself. It's amazing. So you, you're taking the body into a position, and then you're adding breathing into it. And as you're adding the breathing, you're getting this expansion through the body. You're getting the consistency of breath in and the consistency of breath out. And when you're ready, just bring the arm back down as you breathe out. Wow, my shoulders are tight. <laughs> and your yeah. neck and your jaw, it just, oh, but it's so nice. Because it just. So it gives you the capacity to observe. So as we go on yeah. today, we're going to be doing just increasing things just a little more, a little more, a little more. Yeah. But if the same principles are applying, you're actually using your breath to discover things about yourself, mm -hmm. to begin to understand something more about yourself, to be able to observe what's going on with you. Um, and one of the big promises about breathing is about breathing, especially starting with your exhalation and exhale, is that you have the capacity to replace those sort of unconscious patterns. You know, like you kind of feel anxious about something. You've actually got the And also being able to have, I just think that the way that you can give control back to someone and know that they don't need anything outside of themselves to help themselves, mm -hmm. that they can do that all themselves. It's really... Yeah. It's powerful. It's amazing. So next, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to rotate your body. So just rotate towards the side. So you, you maybe a little way, maybe all the way around. Um, keep your chest lifting, your chin down, close your eyes and just take three breaths here. And what I'd like you to do is pay special attention to the expansion of the chest, the ribs and the abdomen here. And rather than forcing a movement round. As you exhale, I want to see what happens when you exhale, just the space that you create after you breathe in. A small pause, and then as you exhale, you can see that your body will just be able to move just slightly further. So the other wonderful thing about an exhale is it allows you to go further than you've ever gone before. Because the body feels safe. That makes sense yeah every time without even trying <clears throat> excuse me or pushing yourself it just automatically was able to mm. and kind of let go of all this in the lower back and be able to just move more around because right. again it is without pushing yourself and as we said before being comfortable in the movement you're in in the beginning right you're just noticing how much that contraction can move your body it's amazing Definitely. Let's go to the other side. So let's do exactly the same on the other side. So rotating towards the other side, please. So you're using the expansion. So you're adding the breath in. You're expanding the body here. And then just naturally as you breathe out, the body will just actually change. So you're using your breath to change the body from the inside. And it's occurring on the exhalation with the exhale.
Then when you're done, come back to the centre, please. Oh, so much okay. time. Okay. So we've done the simplest of movements. Yeah. Simplest of movements so far. Um, I just want you to do one more. I want you to reach forwards like this, just to come all the way forwards okay. and down. Back a bit more. Yeah. yeah. So just coming all the way forwards and down. And I'd like you to come forwards, just move forwards and down, reach right the way forwards with your arms, and just take three breaths here in exactly the same way. So as you breathe in, you're expanding the chest, the ribs and the abdomen. And as you breathe out, abdomen is moving in, ribs are moving in, chest falling, but you're able to move slightly forward on your exhale. So, so far we've been in the center. So we've been in an equal balance position in the center taking some breaths. We've moved the body to one side to take some breaths. We've come to rotate and take a spinal axle rotation of the body and taking some breaths there. And now we're folding forward to take some breaths. And we really just come back up, please. Oh, wow. Okay. Next, just, I'd like to do one more thing seated. Just one more. Yeah. Can you bring your hands to the ground behind you? Shall face I face the front? front? You can say face the front if you want. I'm just showing you so that you can see yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Otherwise, yeah. So you can bring the hands to the ground just behind you. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lift chest forwards and up, but keep your chin in. Close your eyes, and exactly the same here, in this position, exactly the same. Take three breaths, expanding chest, ribs, abdomen. So the focus here is the top of the chest. This area of the chest is moving upwards. Shoulders together, arms long. Breaths. And you see that everything changes with the exhalation. So everything becomes possible because of the exhalation. And it also, because of your breathing, it, it starts to create a space that you can genuinely change things from. Slowly come back up, please. Okay, so what we've done is we've done this. We've been straight with the body. We've taken yeah. the body to one side. We've yeah. twisted the body round. We've taken the body forwards and we've taken the body back. And we've done this very, very simply. And we've had breathing into it to get different effects. So even with the simplest thing, huge effects mm -hmm. now let's up the game just a little you okay with that yeah please That's okay so um, just come onto the mat can you come onto your hands and knees on the mat please yeah okay so in exactly the same way exactly the same way what, what i'd like to do is i'd like to follow exactly what we did before this time i'd like you to exhale just take your bottom backwards towards your heels extend reach your arms out in front of you so as you exhale, you're just moving backwards, bottom back to your heels, that's it. And then as you're breathing in, just slowly moving back up again. So you find that the movement and the breath complement one another. So begin to breathe out, which means your abdomen moves in, keeping the smoothness and the consistency of the breath, which means you're aware exactly of what you're doing as you're coming back because you've got your breath guiding you. And then breathing back in to come back up onto your hands and knees. Um, just one more, please. Just one more. Okay. 
Now breathe them back onto your hands and knees, please. And um, can you bring your left foot forwards by your left hand? It just doesn't matter which foot. It's the one that's closest towards your width. Okay, that's perfect. It's the one <laughs> closest to me. It's brilliant. Now here, one foot forwards, one foot back. Um, the arm that's closest to me, could you raise it to the side and rotate towards me so you're facing this way? Is that okay? So breathe in, rotate, and just raise the arm straight up into the air. Rotate the body upwards. So remember, you're taking the position and then you're adding breathing into it. So it's yep. just a little stronger than we did before. So you've got to refine the effort within the body so that the effort that you put in the body doesn't affect the breath. So the body moves into the background and then you use the exhalation and your breathing to change the body. Brilliant. Now bring the arm back down as you breathe out. Now in the opposite direction, could you take the arm just to the side? Other way, other side. So the one closest to the window, that one rotate round and extend and reach it right the way upwards. So here, this is a this lateral movement through the side of the body. And again, just take a few breaths here. So you're having to refine your effort based on your feedback from your breathing. And then when you're ready, as you breathe out, just come to bring the arm back and down. From here, see, can you press into the front foot? Lift your chest upwards. So lifting your chest up. And then very, very slowly with your chest up, just raise your arms and reach them up into the air. That's good. So you're pressing into the front foot, chest lifting, <coughs> arms raised up, breath in. Oh, I can really feel the tension in my hips and in my shoulders, <laughs> then releasing it at the same Good. time. And then when you're ready, as you breathe out, bring your arms down, bring your hands down. Body down. Take both of your knees together, say, front foot backwards, both knees together. And then just take your bottom backwards towards your heels as you breathe out. So it's exactly the same principle. So even though the shapes we are doing are changing, our approach remains exactly the same with the breathing. So back yeah. onto your hands and knees, please. And then come forwards and bring the other foot forwards. So take the other foot forwards. That's it. Perfect. Press down with your foot and then take the arm that's closest to the window and breathe in, rotate, turn towards the window and raise your arm into the air. So here, taking the position, adding the breathing. And use your breathing to expand the chest, the ribs, the abdomen. And exhaling, abdomen, ribs, chest. Good. And then when you're ready, as you breathe out, just bring the arm back and down slowly. So again, it's the exhale provides a safety for you to, ex to ex exit from the position. Oops. And then to the other side. Okay. So towards me this time. So rotating, turning body, right the way around. And just taking the arm right the way up. That's it. And then when you're ready, as you breathe out, just slowly bring your arm back and down. So again, the exhale, helping you to exit. Press into the front foot, so press down into the front foot. Lift the chest off the leg and raise the arms slowly up into the air. So you've got a gentle pressure in the front foot. Chest is lifting, shoulders are soft, arms are up, and you're adding your breathing in here. So remember, consistent breath in, consistent breath out.
And then when you want, as you breathe out, just bring the arms forwards and down. Take your chest down, bring the palms back on to the ground. Both knees together. And just take your bottom backwards towards your heels as you breathe out. Okay. So let's just take this just a little further, if that's okay. Is that all right, see? So breathe in, back onto your hands and knees, please. If it's okay with you, could you bring the first foot forwards again, so the foot closest to me forwards? Press into that foot and as you breathe in, tuck the toes under the back foot and straighten the back leg as you breathe in. Now lift your chest just a touch and the hand that's closest to me, rotate towards me and raise the arm up into the air. Right, so we're just going a little further, but you're able to breathe. You're keeping the consistency of breath in and consistency of breath out no matter what you're faced with. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, as you exhale, just begin to lower the arm back and down. And then move straight away to the other side as you breathe in. So just taking your time, breathe in, rotate to the other side. And then when you're ready, breathe out, just bring the arm back, lower it back down. Press into front foot, press into back foot. Keep the effort between the feet to lift yourself off the legs slowly. There, and then raise both of the arms up into the air. And in one movement, as you breathe out, just bring the arms back down, take your body forwards, bring your palms down, bring the back knee onto the ground, take both of the knees together, and just take your bottom backwards towards your heels. And then we'll go up just to the other side. So breathing in back up, bring the other foot forwards, Tuck the toes under the back foot, breathing in straight and back leg, and then rotating towards the side, so this time towards the window. So there's a gentle pressure between the front foot, the back foot, chest lifting a touch, arm up, shoulders soft, and you're able to breathe. And then as you breathe out, just taking your time to bring the arm back down. And then rotating to the other side. So this time taking the other arm and rotating it right the way around. So you're keeping the activity between the feet. Arm up. And then when you're ready, breathing out, back down with the arm, please. Now get the pressure between your feet and slowly increase the pressure so that you can lift your chest off the leg. And then raise your arms and reach them up into the air. And when you're ready to come out, as you breathe out, slowly forwards, hands down, knee down, both knees together, and just take your bottom backwards towards your heels as you breathe out. From here, can you turn and come onto the back of your body, please, see? Mm -hmm. Just turn onto the back of your body so you're lying down. <clears throat> Can you take three breaths here? I'd like you to take this chance while you're lying down, just to feel your feet, feel the back of your body on the ground. And just taking three breaths, so there's a consistency of breath in, and also a consistency of breath out. 
and just pay attention just to the exhales. There's a consistency with the exhalation. From here, will you be okay to straighten your legs away from you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, straighten your legs away, bring the edges of your legs together. Flex your feet towards you just a little. So flex your feet towards you, that's it. And as you breathe in, can you take both of your arms up and over your head, interlace your fingers, and rotate and press your palms right the way away from Make you. Make sure everyone, if you have enough space. It's oh, I love this one because it really elongates the body. Yeah, so, so just get your heels, just flex your feet towards your touch. That's good. Really press away through the hands. Now the key here is that as you breathe in, you're breathing right the way down to your lower abdomen. And then as you breathe out, just from the lower abdomen, back right the way back up again. This is such a beautiful position. It really, really calms the mind. But the key is breathing. Just take one more breath here, please, and then bring the hands back down. Relax the feet, and then bend the legs and bring your feet to the ground. Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. Okay, just take one breath here, and would you be comfortable going to shoulder stand, do you think? Yeah. Okay, so for everyone at home, there's, there's two options. The first option is that you can press both of your feet into the ground and just lift your hips upwards. It has the same effect as that. shoulder stand, which is what Cara's going to do. So this position here, but with the head straight. So you can stay there and breathe, or you can do this position that Cara's going to do where she brings the edges of her legs together, hands down by her sides. And are we doing this one, or are we doing the one straight up? Straight up, straight up, exhale, straight up, hands up as far up the back as possible, eyes closed, palms pressing into the back, and breathing here. So again, whether the feet are on the ground or the hips are up, it's exactly the same. The breathing is right the way down to the lower abdomen as you breathe in, and from the lower abdomen slowly exhaling to breathe out. Just take three more breaths here. And always know that you can come down anytime you wish. To come down Lower the legs a little way and place the hands onto the ground behind you. So a little way, not too far. Palms onto the ground. Keep the head down and breathe in. Come all the way down and bring the feet to the ground. Stay here and breathe. So again, you'll find that as you breathe in and breathe out here in this position, slow breath in, slow breath out. And if you've been lifting your hips up with the feet onto the ground, come back down and breathe there as well, please. So you're looking to slow your breathing down here, particularly the exhalation. So there's a consistency in the exhalation as you're breathing out.
Now from here, can you turn around onto the front of your body? So you're flat on the front of your body with your arms down by your sides, please. So you're lying down on the front of your body, arms by your sides, head to one side. Oh, <laughs> this is how I sleep, so. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. I am comfortable in a good way. <laughs> okay. As you breathe in, can you lift your chest forward and lift the arms out to the sides, please? And then as you breathe out, slow your exhalation down, bring your arms back by your sides, turn your head in the opposite direction, lower yourself down and lower your shoulders and relax them to the ground. And then repeat again. So as you breathe in, just take your chest forward, have your eyes closed, breathe in, pause, slow your exhalation down. So your exhale teaches you so much as you come back down. Bring your arms by your sides, turn your head and just lower yourself down, relax your shoulders. Brilliant. Just two more times, please. That's it. That's it. Brilliant. Now bring your palms by your chest. So bring your palms by your chest. Lift yourself up onto your hands and knees, please. And then just take your bottom backwards towards your heels as you breathe out. That's good. And then breathe in back onto your hands and knees, please. And just once more, just as you exhale, slowly moving backwards. See, have I still got you? Can you come to sit, please? Cara? Yeah. Can you come to sit down? Did you say that? No, I said take your bottom back again, but you ignored me, so I just kind of went, okay, fine, just come to sit, it's fine. I was having a really nice moment to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was really enjoying that. <laughs> <laughs> um, just come to sit, and what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes for a moment, please. Um, uh -huh. I need to lift up from your lower back to your mid back to your upper back. Shoulders really soft. Just bring the chin in a touch and down. And just take four breaths here. Just four slow breaths. How do you feel? So different from the beginning. Mm. I feel like my voice has changed. Yeah. Now I'm listening to myself. I just feel heavier, but lighter, like more grounded, if that makes sense, but also lighter in the mind. Yeah. Um, just more awareness, like more, yeah, more connection to my heart. So I feel like sensitive as in I can feel everything. Um, yeah. I also feel more protected, more aware, um, yeah. and really more aware of where I have the tension in my body. Um, yeah. You know, I'm wanting to kind of, it is an interesting thing when you can connect to yourself more, how much more able you are to make obviously more conscious and or good decisions, but also to look after yourself. Yeah. You are more aware. Um, 
yeah, I just feel more positive too. Like I said, like lighter, less stressed. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really better. So much better. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm, so, I'm, thank you for the theme of exhale. Um, I'm really no. excited for you and the, what you, the really good things that you're doing as well. So I just want to say thank you so much. Um, such a such a good theme and a really yeah, good I'm, idea with exhale. I'm really glad and thank you. And anyone who wasn't here before, um, Colin, you've obviously been my teacher for the last 10 years. And this whole collection that I helped design, you know, is based on the kind of work we've done for so long, but how important it is for breath work. Mm. Um, and especially now picking the subject of just exhale. Mm. This collection means a lot to me. And especially when it's, I'm really excited because it's more, it's the most eco-conscious collection that I've done and especially because a lot of the materials are like 70% recyclable polyester and like the the car the sorry the colors and the dyes are you know environmentally friendly and you know it's all kind of carbon neutral which is great and fully offset so it's just really exciting wow. to be able to do a collection like this and especially with all the materials and the way it's made it's just really nice to be able to move in it and comfortable um, this mm. is only one of the pieces, but it's out tomorrow and globally it'll be out in March, which is really exciting. That is really exciting. And that's so, it's amazing to hear. Really amazing to hear. Well, thank you, Colin, because I thank wouldn't you. have been able to do this without you either. So I really appreciate it. Oh, and hopefully you. we'll be doing a lot of these more, but they've really, I think they've helped a lot of people during this, this time. And also thank you for helping me as well. So as long as we can give that gift to everyone, it's really exciting. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'll see you. What are you doing for the rest of today? Um, I've got a few plans, which will be fun. Cool. But yeah, I think just spending time with people that I love and oh. yeah, hopefully some Valentine's, which will be nice. Brilliant. Yeah. Aww. Me too. So thank you so, so, so much. So and much. I'll see you very, very soon. Huge yeah, hugs. Thank you, and thank you everyone for joining us and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Love you. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.